he looked back and he saw the rat just laying there dead. Are there some rats that you need to kill this year? I'm here to let you know that the way to kill the rats in your life that are threatening your situation is not to go down, but it's to ascend higher in the presence of God. It's to go into another level and another dimension. We're about to jump into 2014, ready to kill some rats in our lives. Ready to kill those things that are threatening our condition and our ministries and our lives, our families. How many of you are ready to go into a different place? You see, going into a higher place, we call this, we want to jump into 2014. Tell the person next to you, are you ready to jump? Are you ready to jump? Are you ready to jump into another dimension? The way we're going to jump is by having an intimacy with God. Amen. You see, intimacy with God, intimacy is the reason that God created you and me. Intimacy with God is much more. When we talk about intimacy, more normally what comes into our minds is sex. But it's far greater than sex because sex is just something superficial. Yes, it is. It's the real intimacy that I'm speaking to you this morning about is not something that you can see, touch, or feel. Yes. It is passing the superficial things and going into the heart of God. And God wants His church this year to have a deeper intimacy with Him. He desires that we, His children, have an intimate relationship with Him. For He created us in our mother's womb before the foundations of the earth. He predestined us to have intimate fellowship with Him. Do we want to know God this year? Do you want, are you comfortable in the level that you are in? No. Do you want to go into another dimension in God and know his heart and his will in this season for your life? I know what he did last season, but I'm trying to hear God this season. I know that he was with me yesterday, but I need him today. Amen. Hallelujah. He desires us to go into an intimate place with him. But the problem is that intimacy requires coming out of the comfort zone. It requires that you break out of the normal routine of life. It requires that you do what normally you would not do. Someone once said, and I can quote it, they said, if you want something that you never had, you gotta do something that you never did. You gotta step out of the box and step out of the comfort place. And when you step out, it will be uncomfortable. When you step out, it might be painful. When you step out, you might look ridiculous or crazy or fanatic, but call me fanatic, I need to go into another place. Call me crazy, I need to step into what God wants to do this year in my life. I don't want to go through another year just going through the motions. I don't want to go through another year just experiencing what I experienced last year. My friend was talking about moving with the cloud. I want to move with the cloud. I want to step into the new dimensions that God has for me. 